Uvalde Radio. Robert Miguel's birthday brunch. Body Radio, that's the latest there by Bree Bagwell, and uh, before that you heard some Sarah Hobbs, and it's my big old birthday brunch, having a good time talking to some of my favorite people on the whole planet, in honor of my birthday, yes, it's all about me today, and don't forget we got the big birthday happy hour today, 2 to 5 p.m., Broadway 830 on Main Street, Nivaldi, $1.50 bottle domestics till 6 p.m., and live music and interviews with Lauren Corzine, I hope I said that right, and Jeff Jacobs also, but this is cool, right now. On the phone, Bree Bagwell, Sarah Hobbs. Hello, ladies. Hi. How are y'all doing? Uh, well, I I don't know. Like between me and Sarah, like neither one of us is going to shut up. So I don't know how <laughs> this is going to go. Okay. But uh, I'm good. This is Bree. I'm over here. I'm actually cooking sausage. Oh, nice. <laughs> 
Um, Sarah, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Abilene, and I'm eating the grilled cheese. Grilled cheese and Abilene, awesome. And, and Bree, are you at home? Woo! I'm at home in Austin. Wow, we're all over Texas. What? This is great. This is good stuff. Oh, this is so cool of you guys to check in. I mean, um, this is like the biggest birthday present ever. Now, now, one year ago today, Bree, you actually sang "Happy Birthday" to me from the stage at the Lone Star Saloon in Uvalde, and that was. Oh, I remember that? At- that was a fun night, and um, that was like the most epic radio interview I've ever done. We drank. Uh, a decent amount of Rebecca Creek that day. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a good time. You and the band came over to the studio. We, we drank. We had some beer. We had some Rebecca Creek. Uh, and then we uh, we ate a little bit, I think. And then you guys went down, and you still did just a fantastic performance. Um, the, the band, they're great. And uh, I've still yet to actually have Sarah Hobbs come down here to Uvalde proper. Although, Sarah, I know you play over at Joe Jimmy's every now and again, right? In ConCan? Yeah, I do. And I would love to come over there. That'd be so fun. I yeah. love that part of the country. Yeah, we, we we love to have you. So I'm looking forward to seeing you the next time, uh, maybe for spring break, whenever you guys decide right. to come down here. So what have you guys been up to? I know that um, this year has been a crazy year. We're in December now. Let's go and talk about the big year that Brie Bagwell and Sarah Hobbs have had both separately and together. We'll start with you, Brie. What you got? Oh, my goodness. Well, it has been so crazy. I think we're going to hit like well over 150 tour dates this year. Cheat on Me hit number one this year, which was cool. Yeah. Got music video of the year at the awards. Um, it's just been crazy. Uh, I'm working on a couple new projects, and then I decided to write a Christmas song on a plane, and then I asked my little bestie over there to sing it with me, and we had the best time doing this song and music video. So, mm-hmm. so uh, we, we, we just got the record this week. It's already on the air. It's such a cool little tune, uh, and it's uh, called A Whiskey Christmas. So I, I did not know this. Bree, you actually wrote it. It's a really cool kind of swinging, kind of old-school country kind of number, huh? Yeah, I think, you know, sometimes, I mean, Christmas music, I just wanted to change it up again, a little bit, do something fun. And uh, Sarah and I both work with Rebecca Creek and, and Texas Ranger, and so I thought, Man, let's make a song about what we really do. It's a very autobiographical. <laughs> <laughs> so based on reality. Truth. And Sarah, how much how much um so how much twisting of the arms did it take to get you to do? He this? literally would start calling me at five AM and not <laughs> stop till ten PM at night asking and begging. I'm totally kidding. You can't even get the sentence out and I'm like, Yes, 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 okay. I I love the way you guys are together. Now the last time, all time. We saw you guys together hanging out back in March at the uh, uh, Texas Regional Radio Music Awards, and that was a really, really great moment where, you know, Bree, you got to be pretty much pass the torch over to Sarah as the uh, new female Aww. vocalist of the year. Y'all talk about that experience, please, because, I mean, I think I think y'all's awesome friendship really shone through there in the most cool way. Yes. When the curtain rolls back and, like, she's about to sing and we're just in an embrace, and I'm like, and this is our life. This is real, this is truth, y'all are welcome. <laughs> so how long have y'all known each other? What was the story? How, how did you guys get, how did you guys develop your friendship? Oh, Sarah, you want to go for it? <laughs> well, like, I had heard so much about her, and I was like, God, me and this girl would just be the bestest of buddies. I just, like, and it's been maybe four years ago when we kind of, like, started to, like, me a little bit, but I was saying like the last two and a half years, like we started getting closer and closer, and in about the last like year and a half, we got really, really close. And then we talk every day. We do. But we help each other through life problems. Mm-hmm. We're basically training to be life coaches, basically for each other. Wow. And <laughs> a heck of a time. Is the bond so strong because you think that personally, you know, personality-wise, it's what it is? Or do you think it's because maybe you guys have so much in common being really, you know, talented um, female country artists? And let's be honest, you know, um, be, being a female in any industry, especially the arts, you know, it's there's different obstacles, you know, to overcome. And do you think that maybe that that is – or do you think that even if you guys were a janitor, you know what I mean, and a ranch hand, that you guys would still be besties? Hundred oh, percent, definitely. Well, I know, like when I met Sarah, she was like, "Everybody has told me I have to meet you," and I was like, "Everyone has told me I had to meet you," and um, because they just knew we would love each other, like like you said, regardless of the career situation. But the best thing yeah. is like just because when you're on the road all the time, it's 
she just gets it, and so we can vent about that to each other and all the mm-hmm. problems that come along with it. Exactly. And, you know, it's coming from a place of any time that she does something good, I mean, it's, it's almost like it's, it happened to me. I'm so oh. proud of her because she genuinely appreciates it, and she works her tail off for it. So, I mean, I'm, there's nothing better than having that friend that you know is always 100% or you're happy all the time. So, and I know she is that with me, and I'm definitely that with her. So, it's, um, we've we've referred to each other, and I think my mom coined maybe this term with you calling friends. <laughs> <laughs> It is so cool getting to know you guys separately, but it's even more exciting getting to kind of get an inside into your awesome, you know, special friendship. Again, we're talking to Brie Bagwell and Sarah Hobbs, and uh, you guys are both, you guys are nominated for some awards this coming, uh, uh, Texas Regional Radio Music Awards, right, this coming year? Yeah. Y'all want to plug yourselves yeah, on those real quick? You, I can't remember. One swan. <laughs> You're like all of them. We want all of them. But yeah, yeah y'all. we want them all. Y'all vote for Bree and vote for Sarah. And I got the question, um, is this new Christmas song, is this the first time you guys have recorded together or have you done it elsewhere? Surprisingly, it is. Yeah. Wow. It is. It and, is. And it was just a breeze. No pun intended. Oh, <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> hey, hey, so I've got an idea, guys. And I'm sure I'm not the first one to have it, but I'm going to take credit. I think y'all need to do like one of those dos barrachas thing. Y'all should do a record. Like Krager and Fowler did with the two of y'all, wouldn't that be cool? Oh. I mean, <laughs> <I'm> into it. <laughs> We're like, send money. Well, we we would do it in a heartbeat. Uh, Absolutely. <laughs> send send money. We'll go in the studio tomorrow. We'll go, we'll do a GoFundMe. We'll put that together right now. Excellent. That sounds great. Well, okay. Well, you know what? We're I'm at the end of the year. in the car and driving. <laughs> y'all tell me this. Since we're in December, um, how are you guys spending the holidays? What's the plans uh, for each of you guys? I'll go first. Um, I'm going home to New Mexico to see my mama Yay. and uh, all my nieces and nephews and, uh, you know, play Legos and things like that. <laughs> nice. All right. How about you, Sarah? Good stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm heading back to Northeast Texas, and majority of my family, you know, lives right around there. So we'll just, uh, we will be holiday in the mountains, and I'll be holiday in the holler. <laughs> Now, now a few weeks well, back, country. a few weeks back, Bree let the cat out of the bag that she's got a man in her life. So I'm sure New Year's Eve, Bree, you got someone to kiss over there. How are you, how are you expecting to uh, to spend New Year's Eve? Oh me? Oh well, oh well. I'm actually <laughs> playing at Corpus. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, and I'm trying to get my buddy Mark McKinney to come down and play with me too. So if anyone's near <laughs> near Corpus, come down and, and play with us. I don't know where are you, Sarah? You need to come. Not right? I'm actually not booked yet. Ooh. So, okay. And, and I guess since it's the holidays, let's go and do this. Um, what are y'all's cool family traditions, you know, for, for Christmas and or New Year's? Anything anything special? Well, oh. so, so um, at my mom's side, like, we came up with this years ago. It is, like, insanely fun to drink a few, you say margaritas? Yes. Okay, I'm just going to go for it. Of course. Have a couple of margaritas and then play Operations. Like, <laughs> do you even know the competitive level that is brought out? Oh, oh my goodness! Beautiful words said of encouragement. <laughs> it's wonderful. So there's one. <laughs> That's a good one. That is so amazing. You know what? I, what I love about Sarah Hobbs? You're so random. <laughs> <laughs> so so awesome. random. That's the best. And everything she says with her accent is funny, regardless. Right. <laughs> Everything is y'all and y'all. <laughs> I love yeah. it. It makes me happy. All right. Well, Bree, what about you? What do you do Christmas like morning or something? I mean. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I actually, what turned into a tradition is my brother comes over at like 11 p.m. after the kids have all gone to bed. Both my brothers come over and I help put together, you know, the bikes and the toys and the Barbie houses and the tents and all the things um, for them for, for Christmas morning. So I. I, uh, I, you know, we drink some beers, and then 
the kids come over at like, you know, 5.30 in the morning. Uh So I guess my tradition is not to sleep, but I enjoy that time with my brothers. (laughs) Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Great memories. You know what? My my new tradition is going to be to crank out the old uh, Whiskey Christmas record by Brie Bagwell and Sarah Hobbs every Christmas morning now. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be my thing. Well, hey, ladies, I know you guys are super busy, so I'll, I'll let you guys wrap up. Any any cool shameless plugs you need to get out of the way while we're tell, tell people to buy your record or go to your show. What what, what you got to get out out there? Um, I am uh, mailing a ton of vinyls right now. They're red, and I guess people are thinking that they would make great, great Christmas presents, and they are not wrong. <laughs> so if you go to my website, I can mail you a autographed vinyl. And I've got one of those. It's fantastic. Make money. Yeah. I did. And same. I mean, of course, all, everything that I, I guess the best way to get a hold of us is emailing through the through the website, and we're always happy to ship anything. And little side note, uh, Miss Bree and myself have a T-shirt together that is oh. Bagwell Hobbs 2020 plus it says 20, and then it says Perfect Whiskey Vision under it. So oh my God. we're running for that out there, basically. Okay, so it's my birthday. I need somebody in the audience to get me one of those T-shirts stat. I hope you guys can make them an extra fat size. Yes. <laughs> you got it. Shut up. Oh, my gosh. That is so cool. The Brie Bagwell, Sarah Hobbs 2020 T-shirt election year. Totally awesome. And, of course, the new Christmas record out now. And we'll, I'll see you guys in March for sure at the uh, awards, right? That's oh, yeah. great. Absolutely. Well, cool. Well, let's go ahead and play the record. I know Brie, you said you wrote it. Sarah, you helped uh, record it. Any other information about the new uh, Whiskey Christmas we need to know? Uh, the video. Sarah, tell him about the video. Oh, yeah. oh man. <laughs> Let me tell you. Let me go ahead and set this up. Um, we, I, that's literally probably one of the most fun nights I've had, and I couldn't even tell you how long. Um, you will get it 100% when you see the video. And there was literally no acting. It was just like, okay, y'all just be you. Go do the Bree and Sarah thing. Okay, done. So... All of that is 100% true. But just wait. Yes, go watch it because it's going to be incredible. It'll be all oh, over yeah. Facebook. Well, the song and the oh, video. I the other day. And God. Oh, it, it is the ultimate Christmas gift, and it's making a really nice uh, birthday gift for me, too, as well. So, Bree, Sarah, thank you guys so much for checking in on the big birthday brunch. I, I love you guys so much, and I can't wait to see you guys again. You guys literally are the coolest chicks ever, okay? Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, well, here it is. A Whiskey Christmas, Brie Bagwell, uh, Sarah Hobbs here. It's Uvalde Radio. Thank you, ladies. Thank you.
Mm. Yeah, she is. Oh, Rebecca. <laughs> Let this be a whiskey Christmas. Now, Brie, you know that Ranger makes us cut up like a new pair of scissors. 